I want to appeal to the Zambians to take this country and what some of us say very seriously. Because things that I talk about, it's not for me, it's not for Jackson Mwangaka Mwalala come with my father, it's not for my children, it's for the country. And if you people of Zambia don't want to take this country seriously, don't complain of hunger. Don't complain of suffering. Because we are also getting tired of continuing talking about things and yet you, the people that are affected, are not taking it seriously. This country, we need to say enough is enough of the stealing by this government. It is becoming too much. It is because when we talk that these people are stealing, you people as Zambians don't take any action. You are taking things as business as usual. Look, President Edgar Lungu over the weekend went to, uh, is it, uh, no, 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 not Kasama. Chinsali, not Chinsali. Luingu, to go and do a break, ground-breaking ceremony for a construction of a hospital, which they are calling Bangweuru Regional Hospital. The regional hospital that he went to inaugurate, three of them have been, are being built one year in Lusaka. Same design, after the airport, near the airport, they are building a Lusaka, what they are calling specialized hospital. This Lusaka specialized hospital is going to cost $34 million together with all the equipment and the training of the personnel for six months. Another hospital is going to be built in Chief Kalindawalo's uh, kingdom, whatever uh, area, in Petauke. It's also going to cost $34 million with all the equipment and training the staff for six months. Another one is going to be built in Chinsali. Same structure, same mode. The only difference is that the one which is going to be built in Luingu, Bangweulu, the, con the, 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 the tender and everything was done within the Ministry of Health. While as these other three hospitals, the tender was done by Ministry of Infrastructure Development. Now listen to this. The ones that were done by Ministry of Infrastructure Development were all costing $34 million. The one which was done by Ministry of Health under Chilufia and his girlfriend, who is a PS and who is the chairman of the tender committee, the same hospital is going to cost government $154 million. Shame, shame, shame. Mm. $154 Do you know what $154 million can build? Money. Do you know what $154 million can build? It is a building bigger than UTH. That's what they are building. A general hospital. This thing is going to a general hospital. A general hospital to cost $154 million, while three general hospitals in Lusaka, Kalindawalo's area, and in Chinsari are costing $34 million with all the equipment. Because first and foremost, why should President Edgar Lungu allow a minister and the PS to be girlfriend and boyfriend and control the tender in that ministry and is quiet. And by the way, just to build a hospital, do you need a president to go on groundbreaking? But this is Wakula extension. But may have Wakula extension. It's because the man has got an interest in that tender, which has costed five times more than the actual cost. I am calling upon the anti-corruption DEC 
to investigate who tendered that uh, hospital in Bangweulu, how it was awarded. And by the way, the contractor is Sunshare. You know that Sunshare, there are allegations that they are building flats for Chitaluchinufia, the Minister of Health. You know that Sunshare has been sponsoring Chitaluchinufia's projects in the constituents. Corruption here, no kumona tule mona. Mulese kamwewe na Zambia. Yes, paku fuati le. Mwilandi dila. Mule dila mwewe ne. Nawa na benu. Ababa ntuba chila mubu kabola ala. Elo vade bulanga. Vai ba chila shine ndalama. They steal from you. Vai sama by election. Vai mishtu lo bungane nko kumwa basala. Mwewe na Zambia. Shubu keni. Shubu keni. Vaka unda batu. Chinoe charo vaka unda. Ruled this country for 27 years. The time he was leaving office. To check his personal account, he had only $8,000. And at that time, $8,000 was equal to about 1,000 kwacha, which was 8 million kwacha for 27 years. Lungu rules this country for one year, from 1 million to 23 million. Mulesika. Alande mueva. Chinue chalo vale poku mirila. You think we are jokers. I have been in government. I have got experience. And I know how these people are stealing. I know how this. And we are allowing Lungu two years before election. Today is the 12th of August. It's a very special day. It simply means because our constitution says the election shall be held on the 12th. Kwa shala, two solid years. Lungu has started campaigning. If you are a pita, then a two mukupa, mumbi piri, we can penny the balletta, vale machine the batter pamenso, ukubale iba, vale become matumba. Say no to these thieves. Otherwise, mukatampo kuriava na vein. Now, mupapa, I don't speak for myself. I speak for you and your children and your grandchildren and grandchildren. And corruption commission that we focus on first my way and for theta to wish me. Tell us how the cost has escalated from $34 million to $154 million. And do you know what $154 million can do? The hospitals that Michael Sata left, Michael Sata Hospital in, Ch in Impika, the hospital in, the one he opened in uh, 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 Mungui, is it Mungui? It's 11 million kwacha. They cost 11 million kwacha, 11 million kwacha. Then I am by $34 million. Yato loka number 154 million. Kuti wafiro kushite miyoto kama constituency yonzi. Kuti wafiro kumile toro bunga no muna nilo kuria ma election. So vale imibila, vaisa na mpumi zembeleka, you accept as Zambians. Muko sepo. Chindi chindi. Chindi komu aiche. Nga kuchindi. Now they are saying, no, you must respect the president. President Wakobat cannot put one and one together. One plus one is equal to two. He goes to inaugurate a, a, a hospital. Which hospital is costing 34 million in, in other areas? It costs 154 million. And he says, respect me. My father told me, and I have no apologies to make. Umutengo, millimil is just going up. And you are saying, no. Uh, uh, the opposition are saying they will come and reduce the price of milk. Mil. No, they can't reduce. Who told you that you can't reduce? You have increased the price of maize to about 150 by briefcase buyers and 110. That simply means the price of milk mil will continue going up. There is only one way to mitigate this because we have to satisfy our farmers, isn't it? So we can't reduce the price of maize. The farmers will stop producing. The only way that Lungu Ngatamwa is subsidy. Subsidize millimil in order for the price to come down. No, but they can't. Because in the Lamashu, they say, Vali Yiva, Vali Kongo, Lava, Pompo. Yes, Apie! Yes, Apie!